So today's webinar is Sugar CRM for Salesforce Automation. It's March 27th. My name is Josh Bailey, and I'm with E2B Technologies, and we're going to talk a little bit about how you can use Sugar CRM uh, for your sales and to automate your sales processes within your organization. So uh, today we're going to cover for you here some of the elements surrounding the robust sales automation capabilities inherent within Sugar CRM. First, we'll cover some reasons as to why salespeople use Sugar CRM to automate their sales processes. Then we'll talk about the sales capabilities available with Sugar before we go into a demo to show you a few of those functionalities and how they actually work with the system. Then we'll close with a little bit about who we are, E2B Technologies, and we'll have a recap and I'll give you my contact information if you want to reach out there at the end. So why do people use sugar? Uh, well, for several reasons, actually. From a sales perspective, sugar is a great solution whether you're a sales rep or a sales manager. For sales reps, sugar is easy to navigate and has a very intuitive interface. Modules can be configured to show only the information uh, you want to use, and there's the option for short forms as well, allowing you to see the required fields only when filling out a record. There are also flexible dashboards that are completely configurable and have a drag and drop interface built out into tabs and subpanels. These can be built out differently depending on the user's preference, showing specific users only their upcoming calls, tasks, meetings, or any other relevant information that that user might want to use or look at. Also, Sugar integrates and works with several other applications such as Microsoft Outlook, uh, social media platforms, and shared calendars. So sales reps can easily sync their email, calendar, and so forth directly into the Sugar CRM system. For sales managers, Sugar has very robust reporting capabilities, allowing managers to filter and segment on any data within any Sugar module. They can share these reports with the team, they can share it with executives, or schedule to run reports automatically and have them emailed directly into their inbox. Sugar allows managers to quickly pull out the information they need, such as building reports and imp important data directly into the manager's home dashboard. Plus, Sugar managers, using the uh, CRM system, managers can restrict certain items and modules to certain employees, allowing the manager to control the flow of information and visibility to the users in the system. So here's a screenshot of the Sugar CRM dashboard. This is what you see when uh, you log in as a user. As you can see, um, reports, news, upcoming events, and the like can be built directly into this area. Users can add information from any module, report, task, and web page using this menu you see here up on the screen. Each item added to a dashboard, Sugar calls a dashlet. Any number of dashlets can be added to a home page and users can break out their dashlets into any number of tabs and panels. The reports and dashboards are updated in real time as well and immediately without the end user needing to refresh their screen. So information changes in a report, you'll automatically see that change within the dashlet. The opportunity module provides a single view of all information related to that opportunity. There are even subpanels under each opportunity that log the activities of that opportunity, communication history, uh, it holds and relates over to documents that you might want to store in your system, uh, contacts associated, quote forms, and more. The opportunity module is also fully customizable even down to the sales stages. The end user can create their own sales stages and dependent sub-sales sub stages using stages that are familiar to that organization and that contain weighted amounts tied to percentages and forecasts. Forecasted opportunity amounts allow for large forecasting reports to be made off of any number of related opportunities. Additionally, opportunities can be linked to a related module, so users, users can easily flip between accounts and contacts that are associated with that opportunity while in the opportunity, say, maybe logging a call. The contact module allows users and managers to share contact information and assign particular contacts to individual users or groups of teams. Or, users, can ac users accesses can be restricted to contacts of a particular nature. Contacts are automatically associated to accounts and opportunities. 
The dedupe feature ensures contacts lists remain clean, cleaning up any duplicate contacts based off of several criteria such as duplicate names or duplicate email. This feature allows you to then merge the contacts into one or delete the duplicate. Contact logs also shows subpanels to track upcoming activities and past history with a contact. From an account or company record standpoint, uh, Sugar calls them accounts, uh, other systems might call them you know, company records, uh, accounts can be segmented, segmented by their status, type, relationships, or any other list of variables. This allows not only sales reps to quickly and easily grab the information they need, but allows marketers to effectively communicate with customers, partners, and prospects so that the active lead pipeline increases. Sugar has advanced sales forecasting with quota assignment as well. Uh, it also has scenario planning and forecasting worksheets. With the huge bulk of data that is kept and stored within Sugar, reporting and forecasts are incredibly accurate, allowing sales reps to provide commit, commit accounts that are attainable. Managers also have the ability to roll up accurate forecasts across the team and territories that they manage. Basic reporting can also be used to create forecasts, pulling information from any module or field to create measurable estimates of financial or sales information. For the mobile users out there, Sugar's mobile app provides options for any smartphone or tablet user. Sales reps can look up information quickly while on the go and instantly send emails, make calls, or look at maps just with the tap of a button within the Sugar mobile application. Sugar Mobile also has an offline option for sales reps that might not get internet service in uh, particular areas, which will then update the inputted Sugar information automatically when the user returns to an internet network. Uh, so with that, we're going to go to a little live demo right now. We're going to show you real quick how to convert a lead into an opportunity, contact, and account while automatically scheduling a call to follow up on that opportunity. So this is Sugar. This is a demo instance that they provided for us. Um, this is the first screen that you would see when you log in. This is your, your dashboard here. And like I said, these are all drag and drop. You can drag these around to wherever you want. Um, and you can build these off of any of the modules that Sugar has in the system here and break them off into as many tabs as you want, add tabs, uh, so on and so forth. Pull any reports in here that you want. Uh, but right now, we're going to convert a lead into an opportunity. So you go to your leads module, which you can arrange these modules any way you want up in this top tab. Uh, leads come from all sorts of sources. Um, you can put in a lead here yourself. Sugar also has their own lead request forms um, that you can build and put on your website directly. So let's say you have a Sugar lead form right on your website. Uh, somebody gets to your website, they fill out one of those forms. All that information is imported directly into this leads module, so you don't really have to maintain anything at all. Uh, you could actually create workflow that would automatically turn a lot of those leads directly into contacts and opportunities. For the sake of this, we'll show you how to convert a lead manually into a contact opportunity and account. So let's pick John here. It's one of the leads in the system. Uh, we go to this. If this was a web form, this would be the information that the web form would ask for, and it would input it directly into this module here. You can see some of the sub-panels. There's no activities or history lo or campaigns logged against uh, uh, John's lead yet. But we, if we want to convert this, we go to this arrow right here and go right down to convert lead. So here is what it will display once you save John as a contact. Here is the create contact you can see up there. Now uh, you can give him uh, Mr., Mrs. We'll just leave that blank for there. Uh, you can see his title. If you want to add an additional phone, fax, these are all the fields that are existing within the contacts module so that w you can add um, information to these fields and when it converts it will be updated into that contacts. Uh, so you can add an email address if there's not already one in here, a description. You can also create an account, which we will do, or select an existing account that's already in your sugar system. If you want to select an existing account, you would uncheck this and then type that existing account into this box here. And there was already an account saved inside of the lead, so that automatically pulled in that information right here. So we see that. Next, we would want to create an opportunity. 
So you create that. And also with all of these uh, modules fields here, you can take out any of the fields displaying here, or you can add additional fields that are in that module. It all depends really on what you want to see and what you use when converting a lead. So these are just the, uh, the fields that were chosen to be shown on the screen here. Uh, we give it an opportunity name, maybe Oracle Opportunity. Uh, you can select the sales stage that it's at. Um, if you wanted to ass assign it to a particular user within your CRM system, uh, you can put that option in here to display so that next time you convert a lead, you can pick the user it's assigned to. Pick the expected close date. Say you want it to close on the 31st. Put any notes or anything you want in here. And also, we might want to log a call. I'll log a follow-up call based on that lead so that we know that we, you know, we need to give them a call or send them an email uh, soon to kind of follow up on that. So we'll go call this call John. And then we'll schedule this for maybe this Friday, the 29th. You can relate it to you know, an existing account, opportunity, really any of the modules within your Sugar CRM system you could relate this call to. We're going to assign this to Jim, who we're logged in now. So we're going to, going to assign this to ourself. And there he is right there. Uh, you can change the duration of the call, how long it's going to be. Assign this to specific teams if you want a group of users or employees to follow up on the call rather than just one individual. And then you can also schedule a meeting or create a task if you want to. So we're going to save that. Oh, and it flashes red if you leave um, required fields blank. It'll pull you up to that area in the form so you know that to put that information in. And then we go to save. And you can see here that this account is actually already in the system. So rather than creating a new account, um, you can just select this existing account. So in order for it not to create duplicates, like say a lead comes in that you know is already a customer, uh, instead of creating a brand new contact for that lead, uh, Sugar recognizes that that person already exists in the system. You can just combine those you know, into one contact instead of creating two. So now if we go back to our dashboard over here, we can see that the call pulls into the sub-panel here. Here's all the reports here. And we can see that the, the call pulls directly into the sub-panel so that we can just click on it from here and follow up. So essentially that's how you create a lead into you know, your contacts, your accounts, and so forth within Sugar CRM, which is very important from a sales user perspective. Uh, a little bit about who we are, E2B Technologies. Uh, we also develop other business-to-business -business solutions for the cloud. We resell ERP software and, as you know, CRM software. Uh, some of our own applications that we've developed include Anytime Collect, which is an accounts receivable collections module for your ERP system. Uh, Anytime Commerce, which is a business-to-business e-commerce -business e storefront. Anytime Supply Chain, an MRP material requirements planning supply chain suite. Anytime Assets, which is a cloud-based asset management database. And we also develop a few more as well. Uh, some of the software that we resell, we resell Epicor 9, which is an ERP software. We resell Intact Financials, Sage 500 ERP, and as you know, Sugar CRM. And we resell a few others as well. So with that, that concludes today's webinar. Um, if you have any questions you know, regarding this or regarding anything to Sugar, or really anything that we can help you with from a software standpoint, uh, shoot me an email or give me a call. There's all the contact information right there. And I want to thank you for uh, coming out to today's webinar. Take care.